Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the submit a form and redirect function within your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. So here we are inside of the funnel builder. And let's say that you have a funnel that you built. And of course, automatically, when one of your customers fills out this form right here and click submit, they go into the next page of the funnel and then the next page of the funnel and so on. And let's say that you don't want them to do that. You want them to go from this page right here and you want them to wind up on the order confirmation page. So what you wanna do is make sure that on submit, they redirect to a different page. Otherwise, they'll just go to the next page in the funnel. So let's go ahead and grab the order confirmation link right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and then come up to my main product order form slash sales page and we'll go ahead and click on edit. And I have my checkout element right here that I'm gonna go ahead and click on and do the settings here. And I wanna go ahead and select the buttons element at the bottom. And right here we see the option for submit redirect override. So then we wanna go ahead and turn this thing on, enable redirect override. And then we paste the link to our order confirmation page right here. So you can see that it's the order confirmation page and then we can go ahead and save it. And then we could go ahead and preview our form and we can go ahead and fill it out real quick. And then I'll go ahead and click on submit and we should be taken to our order confirmation page. So let's see what happens. And you see we were taken directly to the order confirmation page. So we skipped right over our one-time offer page. And so that's how you can go ahead and redirect where people go upon form submission. And the same concept would apply on a opt-in form or lead gen page. And I'll show you that real quick just since we're here and it's a simple thing to show you. So here is my lead magnet funnel and I can go ahead and open up one of my split tests. And in this case, I would go ahead and click on my button, my submit button. And we can see the option right here to enable redirect override. And so right here, I could go ahead and, you know, I could send them to my order confirmation page as well. Now, of course, that wouldn't make much sense in this particular case, but I just wanted to show you that these submit buttons have multiple actions. So yes, it'll submit the order slash form and then it'll automatically redirect to this page right here. So that's how you could go ahead and set that up on a lead gen or opt-in page as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.